Hey, 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 good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 14th, 2019. My goodness, it's hard to believe we're almost through the halfway through this month. It is flying fast. Keep in mind, we've got Thanksgiving on the way. So make sure you get ready for all of that shopping season uh, coming here to the market really, really soon. Um, my goodness, it's hard to believe this year's coming this quickly to an end. Um, busy day yesterday for the market, real busy day. We had um, impeachment hearings. We had testimony from Jerome Powell. And um, we had some surprise news from Disney. The House of Mouse, my goodness, picked up 10 million subscribers on its first day of service, driving the stock up more than 7% on the day and literally lifting the Dow uh, almost on its own to a new record high on the day so we had that gap down morning yesterday and i suggested didn't think it was going to be all that bad it could could have turned bearish but boy uh, immediately after the open yesterday here's a 15 minute chart um a meeting immediately after the open they started rallying the market right back yesterday so a uh, substantial gap down but they reversed it almost in 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 a heartbeat uh, bringing it right back up. So the Dow closing at a new record high. Let's take a look at what do we what we have going on here. Well, first we have a very very bullish chart. Uh, clearly, we have a very strong trend. I still think we're a little bit stretched um, on this market away from our averages, but you know, right now the bulls are so relentless, they just absolutely don't want to give anything up. Um, so we have this nice breakout here. We have a nice hold of support above. You got to give this up to the bulls. They are in control. Now this morning we're having just a little bit of trouble in the futures. Futures are suggesting a slight gap down this morning, but just a tiny little gap down and that could change because of economic numbers that will be uh, soon coming out. So who knows, that could change um, as well. We've already received um, um, a great earnings report from Walmart. I happen to hold this stock, been holding it for a long time, and um, a great earnings report guiding forward here on Walmart this morning. So that should also help the overall market um, this morning. So got to give this up to the bulls, the diamonds looking very, very strong, new record highs. And um, I would suggest even if we do, do pull back, uh, finding a little bit of support in here, we might just continue to consolidate in this area if we do have any pushback from those uh, bears. Right now, um, bulls seem solidly in control of the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY didn't quite make a new record high. Boy, it tried. Right here, we had a high um, in the market of 309.99, and we didn't quite make it, 309.54. So missed it by a few ticks yesterday, trying to push higher, but once again, very very strong market showing lots and lots of strength breaking through resistance levels holding support levels um, as we've pulled back and tested a few times and the gap down just didn't seem to uh, provide any um, any worry to the market whatsoever yesterday I'm um, getting a tiny 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 little gap down so far this morning but once again that could change based on the economic reports coming out at 8 30 and we'll talk about those in just a moment let's take a look at the cues cues also very 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 strong overall as you can see we had a um, high here of 202.21 and yesterday 201.78 and we closed at 201.59 so didn't quite make that new record high in the queues but certainly a bullish pattern here overall very strong trend um bulls are in control that's all you can say and iwm 
IWM didn't fare as well yesterday, but it did recover. This is kind of a critical place for IWM. We needed to hold that price support in there. And we gapped down below that level yesterday, um, but did rally back up. Now, unfortunately, IWM, this poor guy still struggling along. It is very underloved right now. All the attention that it is in the other three indexes. And as you can see, a bit of a downtrend may be coming into play here on IWM. And so we'll have to see how this morning's little bit of bearishness might affect that. If we slip below this level right in here, that could be critical uh, for IWM, but we'll wait and see. Hopefully it can pitch in and kind of move along with the rest of the indexes here soon. Let's take a look at the VIX. Yesterday morning, we had a bit of a gap up in the VIX popping up and then rallied a little bit more. We had a little bit of fear that came into it, but boy, it didn't last very long as those bulls came right back in, and just refused to go down. We had kind of a nasty whipsaw intraday yesterday as well as China comes out um, and and uh, dump some dump some water on on the head of the market suggesting that they um, they want more concessions in tariffs and they really don't want to commit to a specific number of purchases in um, agricultural products so uh, that's just going to be a political football for a while longer and that's one of the things that's giving that um, you know, slightly bearish look to the market this morning. It's just that uncertainty surrounding that trade circumstance. So that's where we are. Um, and, and the VIX um, still not showing much fear at all here in the market. Let's look at T2122. T2122, um, kind of interesting here, um, picked up just a tiny little bit yesterday but certainly wasn't what you would think that we would see with so much bullishness in the market. So what that tells us is that it was specific stocks that moved the market yesterday. It was not a broad-based move. So we still have to be a little bit cautious and careful, realizing that maybe we are a little bit, um, maybe we are reaching a point of exhaustion on the bulls um, and a little bit of additional consolidation or rest may be needed here to uh, let allow them to catch their breath but right now we're, we're sitting around here you know this is uh, that 50 level right in here we bounced off of that what t2122 is telling us is we have plenty of room for an upside move if we can find the inspiration and we have plenty of room for a downside move if those bears happen to find inspiration so we're kind of just languishing around in the middle here of that indicator let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar definitely could move us around just a little bit this morning we have jobless claims coming out at 8 30 a.m no one's expecting those to be terrible uh, i don't think um, uh, one of the things that jerome powell cited yesterday is that our economy is strong and really being led um, by strong job gains so joblessness um, probably not going to be a major problem although there could be a tick up in it um, because of the uh, GM strike, but we'll have to keep an eye on that, but not expecting um, a big market move on that at all. PPI could be important. Um, consensus is suggesting that producer prices are increasing, and so we'll want to keep an eye on that this morning, um, also at 8.30. Keep in mind, we have Chairman Powell once again speaking. Uh, today, he will be speaking to the House Budget Committee. What that means is, is that we get a little reprieve from the um, impeachment hearings today. They are um, offset by the Powell uh, testimony today. They will resume on Friday. And then notice we have a parade of Fed speakers uh, throughout the day here. Um, 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, 45, 12, 12, 20. Um, and then all the way into 5 p.m. today, uh, Fed speakers out there um, yakking it up about um, 
economic policy. We have EIA natural gas report and the petroleum status report. The natural gas report rarely moves the market at all, but that petroleum status support report certainly can, and it can really move those um, oil stocks around. So you might want to keep an eye on that if you happen to hold some oil issues um, at 11 uh, a.m. Eastern time. And then we have the Fed balance sheet down here at 430, unlikely to move the market at all. On the earnings calendar today, we have a pretty big day. We have um, over 275 companies reporting earnings today. And a couple of the big ones, uh, Walmart having already reported and reported very, very strongly. And then we have NVIDIA uh, this afternoon. So you'll want to keep an eye on that one. Uh, big, big, big. Uh, market mover potential if um, it reports well. Now yesterday we had Cisco and Cisco really disappointed uh, the market yesterday missing and you can see Cisco gapping substantially lower here this morning a little over five percent lower um, on the open this morning. So Cisco not looking too healthy here but uh, let's hope that Nvidia will uh, shine brightly for us uh, later this afternoon. So everyone, with that, I want to wish you all a great day in trading, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you have seen this video, if you could do me a favor, if you could click on that subscribe button, and also click on the bell icon when that pops up to make sure you'll always be notified when I post one of these videos. You know, I'm, I'm now approaching about 700 videos on YouTube because of this daily morning prep video. And I hope you're finding it useful uh, to you for those that follow. I really, really appreciate um, everyone who clicks those thumbs up buttons and leave those leaves those comments. You guys are awesome. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. And hope you understand that what I try to do is really take a solid look at the technicals and avoid the hype and avoid the prediction that you might find in other places. I just want to look at the markets themselves and get a sense of how I want to approach the market for the day. So hopefully you find that helpful and um, please take the time if you do to click that thumbs up and leave a brief comment. Any comment, any comment um, um, helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks. So thank you very much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and I want to remind everyone every time I bring up a stock in this video that are, they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, they're part of the education that I provide um, to members and, and uh, to some of the public in the way I look at those stocks technically. And if you find that helpful, put these uh, uh, stocks on a watch list, watch them, see if there is something setting up here. But please remember, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any of these stocks. Let's take a look at AXP. AXP kind of an interesting chart here. AXP breaking its downtrend has been rallying up, broke through this resistance level in the chart, and now we're getting this really light little pullback toward that support level. I'm going to keep an eye on AXP. Uh, I, I see the opportunity in this nice little light pullback that this could maybe catch some support in here very, very soon and start perking back up. So keep an eye on AXP. I like the chart. I like the way that it's trying to respond higher. This little resting pullback may provide us an opportunity to enter into that trend with a low risk entry. Take a look at Honeywell. Honeywell is a stock in, that um, I actually already have an alert on. As you can see this, anytime you see a pink line on my chart, um, I do that so that everyone can see um, what I'm watching, um, uh, members and, and public, uh, what I'm watching in this trade. Um, as you can see, Honeywell's been moving up in a very nice trend. Honeywell breaking through resistance highs here in the chart. If we pull this back and go to um, a, a long-term chart, and I'm even going to take this to a weekly, you can notice that we are at blue sky highs here. There's no resistance above. So in, as we watch this consolidation, and that's what we're really doing is just resting and consolidating here. As we watch this consolidation kind of slip over and move toward um, 
that trend, we want to keep an eye on that because that could certainly provide us an opportunity um, in this trade. So I've alerted right here, it's possible it could go early, but don't be too surprised if it slips on over toward that trend a little bit more before Honeywell has that opportunity to move up. You guys know that I've talked about Altria Mo here recently, and Mo breaking the downtrend here. This is a pattern I show, and I show it repeatedly in the market. One of the things that I always watch for when a stock is coming up out of the bottom, I never, I am never the guy wanting to try and predict where the bottom comes in. That That is meaningless to me. What I want to do is I want to catch those rallies after we prove to hold support. So for example, break a downtrend, prove to hold support in here with this nice little consolidation. That's the trade I want. That's the easiest one without speculation. So take a look at Mo over here. We've held that support, rallied up to resistance, and we ran into a little resistance right there. So I let everyone know that I had a price alert on this chart and was looking at this possible of that trend and that's popped out now even though it's popped out it's still dealing with a little bit of resistance in here and the little bit of bearishness showing there in the market uh, this morning could keep us in this little consolidating area right in here but let's keep an eye on Mo even though there is all this crisis around uh, the vaping stuff um, Altria is looking pretty strong here and may have that opportunity to pop on through. Keep an eye on that. How about AMD? AMD, everyone in RWO was alerted to this one yesterday and um, also um, the day before. And there's that pattern again. Isn't that nice? Um, showing just the same thing I showed you in Honeywell, that breaking move where we move through a major resistance area, we consolidate over toward the trend and then boom, off we go to more upside. So there's a lot of folks in RWO who have already made profits on this. Some have taken those profits, some are still holding that chart looking for more upside. And you can see this morning we're getting just a tiny little uh, pop up, maybe just a little gap up follow through this morning. We'll see if that holds throughout the day. Let's take a look at um, stock O'Reilly. O'Reilly is a pretty interesting stock. Let me remove this right here. O'Reilly had a big pop breaking through on earnings, breaking through this resistance high. This was a, an incredible rising wedge here. And popping through that resistance high and moving on up on those earnings. And now we're consolidating that move. Now, I wouldn't suggest that this is ready to go just right now. This may have to slide um, um, slide to the right here a little bit more uh, to catch on to its trend. But it is possible we could begin a new trend, a lot steeper trend here um, soon. So I've placed an alert on this chart and I'm watching it fairly closely. Um, the reason I really like this here right now is because this consolidation is tightening up. It's what I call a pop out of the box where we get that really nice tight consolidation in here and I'm looking for that breakthrough. Uh, gives me a low risk entry into the trade. So keep an eye on O'Reilly. Costco, Costco is another one I alerted to and as a matter of fact, talked about it in yesterday's morning prep video. Costco picking up off of this trend. Boop, there's the trend. Nice little pullback to the trend, getting a nice reaction up. Now keep in mind, just because we have a one day up on that doesn't necessarily mean that it's just gonna shoot up from here. Um, we see this a lot, in, in fact, we see this a lot here anymore, where we'll get that one bullish candle up and then we end up kind of pulling back or sl uh, sliding sideways over here to the trend before it really takes off. Kind of an example of that was right in here. We pop up and then just finish that move over to the trend. So keep an eye on that Costco um, looking very good, very strong here um, in the chart. Another chart that I have been bringing up and you uh, probably, I think it was in yesterday's video as well, was KHC. KHC trying to break through um, a resistance level in the chart. And I've been watching this after that pop through um, for any kind of a follow through. And I have a price alert 
um, trend price alert here and you can see we finally made it through that level so we might be picking up a little bit of steam but what you want to notice is that this morning we're getting a gap down um, in that stock so although we started that move we may fail it yet today but let's keep an eye on this we've seen this a lot lately where we gap down and reverse and come right back up so keep an eye on it um, there is that opportunity here in KHC we'll just have to watch it closely so with that hopefully that puts a few stocks on your list to keep an eye on I want to wish you all a great day in trading I want to wish you um, great profits and if you're struggling as a trader I want to encourage you not to give up if there's anything we can do give us a holler we'd love to see if we can help you improve your trading i can tell you this that if an old carpenter like myself can figure this out and have been able to make a full-time career in trading for the last almost 15 years now um, anybody can believe me there's nothing special about me um, if I can figure this out, you can too. So keep at it. Keep up the effort. Um, I truly believe um, there is plenty of opportunity for a, a lot of traders in this market once we get um, disciplined and build a good solid plan in our trading. So with that, everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best.